Well, here I am, yet again, studying Beethoven's First Symphony. How many times have I been through this score? I don't dare think. And yet, it's always a joy and a refreshment to contemplate this first of nine symphonies that changed the history of music. This is number one, standing in the year one of the 19th century, like a glamorous invitation to enter a totally new era of romanticism. Of course, this is not at all a romantic symphony. It still wears its Haydn-ish costume, quite 18th century, and yet it is different. For instance, uh, you just caught me in the middle of studying the scherzo, the third movement, which, uh, as you know, goes. But this movement is clearly marked menuetto. Now, there's a mind boggler, menuetto. We all know, of course, that the third movements of classical symphonies up to Beethoven's time were minuets. But here, Beethoven has clearly made a revolutionary decision to speed up his minuet to something no longer even recognizable as a minuet. He has marked it allegro molto e vivace. No question that he wants it very fast indeed. And he's even given it a metronome mark of 108 to a full bar, which is something like It's very fast. But he still has that word menuetto staring at us in all its 18th century innocence. And that's the mind boggler. Do you suppose he just might have first thought of this music as a minuet in a normal minuet tempo? Let's see what it might have sounded like, if so. It's not bad, but not very eventful. And if he had gone on in that tempo, it could have become very boring indeed. And so with one swift revolutionary decision, Beethoven transformed the minuet into a scherzo. And a whole new century has opened up.